And now, Yao Cancello has been in the media lately and has accused Pep Guardiola of telling lies and labelled his parent club, Manchester City, as ungrateful. Cancello, who's currently on loan at Barcelona, believes he made the right choice in leaving the current European champions, Man City. The fullback said he won't forget how City treated him after he gave his all to the club and spoke about playing at the Emirates a day after he and his family were robbed and attacked. The Portuguese fullback, due to return to City and Pep in the summer, but he's believed to want to stay in Barcelona. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing, Ali. He's going to leave a boot. Yeah, he, 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 he might be coming back to Manchester City, but he'll only be staying about five minutes before okay. he's shown the door. Oh, why, why would he be wanting to speak out like this? Well, I think it's glaringly obvious because he doesn't fancy a move back to Manchester City. Well, that's OK because Pep doesn't want him anyway. Brilliant. Well, he's had the pop just to make sure. Uh, yeah. From where I'm sitting, there's, been, there's nothing been more stage managing <laughs> in my life. I don't, just to, Pep, just to be reminded, I know you don't want me, but just in case you do have some of this... <laughs> Uh, Johnny is now to discuss yeah. this is the former Tottenham and Manchester United striker now of course Spanish football expert Terry Gibson morning to you Terry, Terry good morning how are you mate good morning Jeff good morning Ali. very well thank you you don't need me on now Ali's uh, said exactly what I was going to say <laughs> but is, is it, Terry I was, I was laughing there because is it that glaringly obvious because if ever there was any doubt about not getting back to a, a, a parent club that certainly looks as though he's going the right way about it yeah, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if it was an, an agreement with Barcelona because he's been excellent this year. He's he's a, he's a really good player and he's yeah, played right back, he's played left back. He's a first choice player for Barcelona and it's clear he wants to stay and it's clear the club wants him to stay. The, the problem is that Barcelona probably don't have the money that Manchester City are looking for. The City paid £65 million for him. His contract isn't up to 2027. So he's, he's, he's due to go back there for some time. And this is probably an attempt from him and probably Barcelona to, to try and get the fee down to, for Pep to say, get rid of him and take what we can from Barcelona because clearly that's where Cancelo wants to go. Mm, I mean, he's a good player and he did well for City and many, many City's fans were, were shocked when he was allowed to leave. But hey, Pep's not going to be lo- losing any sleep over this, is he? Um, look, Terry... Um, Moving on to Real Madrid, is it, we hear so many transfer rumours and they're all inevitably concerning Real Madrid. And another name that's being banded around now is Trent Alexander-Arnold. What do you think? Well, I think he would be on the list of, of right-backs that they, they do have to get. What Real Madrid and Ancelotti have done in recent years is they've really freshened up the squad with younger players. And that has been due to the fact they've played City a few times in the Champions League. City have set the standards. And Ancelotti has openly said that they needed to be more athletic, more powerful and more youthful. Now, but they were playing with Casemiro, Modric and Kroos, Benzema up front. And they've rejuvenated the midfield. Bellingham has come in this season, had a massive impact. Chermaine, Camavinga, Fede Valverde. The one problem area they do have is right back. Danny Carvalho is 32. I don't think there's a desperate need to replace him there. He's having a fantastic season. He's got five goals this year. We know that. Alexander Arnold can score goals, make goals, but Carver Hull is having a fantastic season. But I think long term, and it's interesting, both their contracts are up at the same time, 2025. So if there if there is a position they're looking for to bring in someone younger, it's right back and probably a centre back. I think three of their four centre backs are in their thirties. So it's just planning for the future, I think, from Real Madrid. And if you're Real Madrid and you're looking around at right backs to see who might be available. And again, I think Real Madrid will be looking to buy someone on the cheap and that because of the the cash they're using for Mbappe. And if Alexander-Arnold's contract's up in 2025, it might be one of those, but I think we'll make an offer with a year to go to see what Liverpool take. Well, I mean, they are sitting uh, nicely positioned at the top of the league at this moment in time. But another, I want to ask you about another two. Obviously, Mbappe, um, well documented, Terry. I mean, he's only 25. You think, he, he, you actually get, you forget he's been around for that long. He's still only 25. And another one that I think would be a terrific sign, and there's rumours about as well, was uh, Alfonso Davis, who's 23. Exactly. That's what Ancelotti has tried to do. I mean, he was so loyal to that, that group. The midfield in particular with Casemiro and Modric Kroos, they were a, a fixture, a permanent fixture for the best part of 10 years together. But he, he was wise when he saw what he was coming up against Manchester City in the Champions League. They had that freak result when they came back and won in remarkable circumstances in the Bernabeu, but they got thumped last year. 
And I think he's seen it as that's the standard now. We need younger players. We need some more power. They always had the quality, <clears throat> but he needed more power and he needed more speed to and still have the quality. And, and the players they brought in have been exactly that. So this is a real concerted effort from Real Madrid over the last two or three years now to to rejuvenate the squad and to make it younger. And and that's uh, you know those players fit into that category. Where Mbappe is going to play with Vinicius, Rodrigo again, <laughs> wow. two other yeah. young players as well. It's uh, I think they'll they'll find a place for him. Brilliant, <laughs> Terry. Thanks very much indeed, thanks, mate. Thanks, Terry. Pleasure, um, Terry pleasure. Uh, Bob the Villa fans just texted in. He said Mbappe, Vinicius Junior, Bellingham, Trent, Endrick, Rodrigo, Modric, Camavinga. Surely this is like cheating in Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Just very briefly, Ali, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Trent Alexander uh, linked with, 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 with Real Madrid. Should Liverpool be concerned with Klopp going about, you know, yes. a number of players wanting yes, to Yes, of course they should. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, you know, spent not all of last week, but Salah going to Saudi. You know, I mean, the, the natural thing when you lose um, a person as influential um, with the quality that Klopp has had... You got to be concerned about your your, your playing mm. staff that others follow. Of course, you would. The one thing you would say, you got to look at, particularly in recent weeks and recent months, he hasn't half brought some of the youngsters in. Yeah. So you can argue, you know, he's leaving the club. I don't. Think you can argue. I think it's factually correct. He's leaving the club with a good, good sound base. But you do not want to start losing a Salah and a Van Dijk and a Trent. Maybe they should, if they've got their their person nailed down. Maybe they should name their new manager now, so that the players know what they're getting. Yeah, if that's if it's possible, I agree with you. However, the the new manager that they might want to name might be in a, a club at this moment in time yeah, yeah. who don't want to release that information. Yeah. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.